All right, we have some breaking news right now coming into the newsroom, and our chopper is above this scene. This is in the Oakland Hills. You're taking a look at some live pictures of a fire that has been burning. It broke out about 15 minutes to a half an hour ago, and again, this is in the Oakland Hills. And the real concern right now is what we've been talking about all week, this high fire danger, and that is where... You have a small fire, a small spark, and it can take off very quickly. There on the right-hand side of your screen, you can see those uh, orange flames. And then the smoke above it. So a lot of homes near this area as well. And, of course, anybody who lives in the Oakland Hills uh, knows how quickly things can spread. The location, uh, we're having some difficulty nailing that down right now. But uh, we're talking about Mountain Boulevard, the Keller Mountain Boulevard area of the Oakland Hills uh, near 580, also near Highway 13. And the smoke is spreading quite far. In fact, we can see it from the other side of the bay right now from our tower cams uh, on the San Francisco side of the bay. That is why we sent our chopper there to the Oakland Hills. And again, you're taking a look at some live pictures right now. You can see that smoke over that residential area as this fire is starting to take off up that hill. We're talking about dry conditions. You can see the vegetation there. It is dry. It is brown. It is October. We have not seen any measurable rainfall in many months. And we have those dry conditions on the ground as well as dry conditions in the air. We've been talking about these offshore winds coming from inland. Oh, and there's a flare up. As we can see, again, how quickly this happens. Some very tall flames burning there right now. Again, this high fire danger, we have a red flag warning that is in effect. That went into effect late last night for much of the Bay Area, and it is going to be in effect until Saturday. So firefighters have been telling us for days that they're going to have uh, trucks and personnel camped out in some of these areas that are in the more fire-prone areas of the Bay. And again, this is the Oakland Hills. And we all know that this is a fire prone area. The terrain there, as you can just see why, not only is it dry, it's uh, some very steep areas. And then these trees right next to those flames burning uh, can very easily take off into the trees and then take off into some of those homes that you see nearby, just several blocks of homes uh, that are separated just by a roadway. That roadway could likely act as a fire break if these flames don't take off too quickly. But again, looking at a live fire burning right now in the Oakland Hills, it started about a half an hour ago. And the best location information we're getting right now is that this is along Keller Mountain Boulevard. If you live around the area, you might be seeing and smelling this smoke that you can see from these live pictures from our chopper right now. And uh, you can see several areas of fire burning there. So we don't know if this has already jumped, if this is a couple different fires. Of course, nobody knows what caused this at this point. That's all going to be under investigation. But we need to get the fire personnel into that area before this is able to spread up some of those hills and into some of those residential neighborhoods. You can see it spreading right there and right now threatening a tree uh, on the top of our screen, again, looking at live pictures from our chopper, and there it goes. It is engulfing that tree, and from there, it gets a little height, and that is when we can see these embers, these sparks blowing across the area, blowing across the Oakland Hills, hopscotching uh, from some of these terrains, and that is where things get very quickly out of control. We don't see any firefighters on the scene right now, even though we had been told that they will be placed in those areas preventatively, because we've been talking about the danger, the fire danger here for the past week, knowing that there was this red flag warning, there was this combination of very dry terrain, as we're looking at, and also the fact that we have winds coming in from the east, and those are very dry winds. Taking a live look again from our chopper, we are just seeing this fire expand pretty rapidly before our eyes. Again, plenty of smoke around that area. We're hearing now firefighters are calling uh, for a third alarm here. It initially came in as a second alarm fire, and likely that happened automatically just because of the fact that we're here in the Oakland Hills and we have this dry terrain and these dry winds coming. Uh, they have now 
moved it up to a third alarm. But at least from the live pictures that we're seeing, we have yet to see any fire personnel actually responding to that. We know that they are trying, and we're trying to get more information on exactly uh, where this is. Oh, we do see some fire or some water there coming in from a fire truck along the roadway there. So hopefully that is able to put out at least one side of this because it does look like there's a couple different areas where these flames have really erupted over the past 15 minutes or so. So we have firefighters spraying water there, uh, likely also just trying to protect those homes, trying to moisten some of the vegetation around them to create a bit of a barrier. So if the fire does spread further, which it likely will, because we've seen it uh, do so very quickly over the past 20 minutes or so, that though there would be some sort of uh, moisture barrier there that would help hopefully protect some of those houses. So fire personnel on scene starting their attack, uh, but I think they're going to need a lot more resources up there and they are going to get them because they have called for this third alarm, but time is obviously of the essence when you look at these conditions that we're dealing with. Uh, Everybody remembers the Oakland Hills firestorm that happened in 1991, Um, obviously not comparing this to that at that point, but it was just a terrible, devastating tragedy in Bay Area history. 25 people dead, almost 3,000 homes burned in that firestorm. And that is because, again, of how quickly it spread It's difficult to get up to some of those neighborhoods to get firefighters' equipment up there. Uh, And we're getting a better picture now of of where this is there on the left-hand side of your screen. That is a map of this area where that fire is burning. You can see our little graphic there, a fire in uh, the middle of that map, hopefully giving you a better idea of exactly where we're talking of here. Um, I just got in some information from our weather producer, Billy Poon, about our uh, conditions Right now, uh, luckily, it's not super hot, 72 degrees in the Oakland Hills. Uh, The humidity is, I'm sorry, was this 17%? This is 17%. So that is very low, and we're dealing with these dry winds coming from the northeast at 13 miles per hour, uh, gusting, though, to about 22 miles per hour. So that information just in from our weather producer to tell us what they're dealing with. And here you can see this fire has just taken off into the trees. And that is a real problem. It is covering the ground there. It is moving up the trees. Once it starts hitting the higher levels of some of that vegetation, and when you talk about these winds uh, up to 22 miles per hour, it's going to carry those embers very quickly, some of those burning embers uh, that are going to probably multiply very rapidly when you look at how quickly that fire took off in that grove of trees there. Again, near Mountain Boulevard, taking a look at some live pictures right now. uh, It looks like we have got a building, potentially a home involved uh, that is now on fire. We saw some orange flames coming out of that roof. You can see there on the left-hand side of your screen, traffic still moving. I believe that is on 580. It might be 13. I'm a little turned around here when it comes to geography, if somebody could help me out there. But, uh, okay, we've got about 60 firefighters responding right now. But if this thing keeps blowing up as quickly as we've seen over the past 20 minutes or so, uh, they might need more resources than that. It's just difficult to get their equipment up there and to run some of those hose lines. You can see they have uh, one there spraying water on the fire, but uh, that little patch that we saw really ramping up uh, in that grove of trees, uh, water does not look to be hitting that. Uh, Again, the main priority here is structure protection. So trying to spray some of that water there on those roofs to put out a fire if indeed there was one on that roof. And also the nearby homes, the neighboring homes to put a little moisture on them so it would be less likely for the fire to spread. Hearing I'm getting a little bit more information on the location right now. Okay, so that was 580 that we saw uh, where traffic is still moving right now, even though smoke is, is, is running right across that roadway. We are looking at some of the damage already there on the left-hand side of your screen. I believe this is a live camera from uh, pointing at that area. 
at what looks to be a burned out area. Okay, this is from our camera at the Oakland airport, I'm hearing, and you can see some of the damage there that is already done. So uh, this is near Highway 13, near uh, 580 as well. So right in that area of, of the Oakland Hills and the, the location that we were initially told was Keller Mountain Boulevard. We know we have structures involved, potentially homes involved, and uh, we are looking at that fire continuing to spread right now through that grove of trees. I'm going to pause for a minute so my uh, producers can talk to me and I can get the very latest information to you. Mountain Boulevard in Maynard is the exact address that I'm being told right now of, again, where this broke out, but we've already seen it spread to several other locations. Okay, Chopper given us a pretty good picture there on the left, or the, the bigger screen there, of how much damage has been done and how the smoke is just all over that area. So if you are in Oakland, or Berkeley, you're probably seeing this, you're probably smelling this coming from the Oakland Hills right now, Mountain Boulevard at Maynard. Uh, this is in between 580 and 13. From what we understand, the traffic is still moving on those thoroughfares right now, but uh, this is out of control and burning near several other homes. You can see one there on the left-hand side of your screen. I'm not sure if that is a home. It looks like a home with also a shed, we see several vehicles. That's the issue with uh, the Oakland Hills. We see just a lot of these dotted populations, um, some of them off the roadway with long driveways, a lot of it winding, difficult for firefighters to get equipment up there. And since we've been talking about high fire danger for the past week, our meteorologists have been warning us about this when it comes to the dry conditions on the ground, as well as these dry winds that we've been seeing. And we're taking a look at live pictures from our chopper right now. And this is exactly what officials feared was going to happen. A fire starts very small and it spreads very, very quickly, especially when it comes to this terrain. It's very rough terrain. You can see it there. Dotted with trees, dotted with homes, little winding roadways. And once this fire is able to take off, and these winds get a hold of it. Again, my uh, weather producer just gave me uh, some of the latest uh, uh, atmospheric conditions. We're talking about winds gusting up to 22 miles per hour in the Oakland Hills as we speak. Uh, humidity very low, 17%, and these winds are very dry. So, okay, again, now we're looking from the ground, and we can see several homes on fire. This video actually, uh, not live, it's coming in from firefighters right now, from firefighters in Oakland. They are out there in that resident, wow, they're in that residential neighborhood uh, fighting several fires on several properties as we speak. So when you look at some of the resources right now, again, this video taken just moments ago, given to us by firefighters on the ground there in Oakland, and you can see the damage that is being done right now as on the left hand side of your screen that is a live picture from our chopper as that fire continues to spread 